Okay, I just want to uh, have a little digression here in the context of the death of God and will to power and what that means for Nietzsche. You'll notice, um, aside from what does not kill me makes me stronger, uh, another quote in that section from Twilight of the Idols uh, runs like this. If man has a why, if man has a why, he can endure any how. If man has a why, he can endure any how. Uh, Viktor Frankl, uh, Holocaust survivor, Jewish Holocaust survivor, uh, from the Second World War, wrote a book called Man's Search for Meaning. And the book begins with that quote, if man has a why, he can endure any how. In other words, what it means is, oh, well, in the book, Viktor Frankl found that people who had purpose or meaning in their life actually survived the Holocaust. They actually were more likely to survive Auschwitz uh, than those who gave up on their why or gave up on their purpose or gave up on their meaning. And so, therefore, Nietzsche is saying, if we have a purpose, if we have a meaning to our life, right? We have a why, something that gives it significance. We can endure suffering and we can endure anyhow, okay? This is what the death of God precisely um, makes precarious or puts into a precarious position or, or um, makes contingent, that is, problematizes. The death of God takes away the ultimate why of, of human existence, that, that, that structured Western culture for at least 2,000 years, if not longer. The death of God, God, is the ultimate why for human beings. What other why would we have? If there's no God, do we lose our why? This is what Nietzsche is worried about. If we have a why, we can endure any hell. The death of God means the why that is structured and grounded and founded human existence is now threatened, okay? And so Nietzsche is trying to think, what do, okay, so first I have to diagnose the problem. The problem is the death of God. The why, uh, the why no longer means anything. The why no longer finds an answer. It's as if we look up to the sky and say, why? Or God, and there's nothing answers back. The universe doesn't answer back. This is what Nietzsche is saying is going to become more and more apparent to us as science and technology take, take over. Namely, our lives have no meaning. That's what nihilism is, okay? And moreover, there was actually something, this is the second point, there was actually something kind of pernicious, kind of malevolent, kind of malicious behind the idea of God for Nietzsche. And we're going to see in the next video, um, but I'll just introduce it now. Nietzsche is trying to figure out, okay, the why that structured human existence was God. That why doesn't work anymore. That's what the death of God means. That why has begun to unravel before our eyes. Some people can accept it, some people can't. What was behind that idea of God? What we said behind everything for Nietzsche is a perspective of power. But what kind of power? What kind of perspective of power? Was it the strength perspective or, or, or the strong perspective? Or was it the perspective of weakness? Well, it was the perspective of weakness. Nietzsche thinks that God was created by weak people so as to give their life meaning and survive. But moreover, it wasn't just to find meaning and survive, it was also to take revenge on the strong. 